guys, my name's Laura and I'm the Specky Seamstress and today I thought I'd show you my Pattern Swap 19 Pattern Haul. Um, so if you don't know, Pattern Swap is a challenge organised by the Polka Dot Palace and the Zipper Foot on Instagram and I will link all the details below um, where between the 1st of June and mid-July people can put up patterns on their Instagram feeds that they have never cut into uh, that they just don't um, and you get lots of patterns that were free in magazines and you also get some nice vintage patterns and some cool independent patterns as well as some of the big four so plenty to keep you going um throughout years of sewing um and then the idea is that if you can you sew up a version of your pattern swap pattern um during the challenge time and post it and so um, there's loads of sponsors for the challenge and uh, lots of prizes to be won but now, i was quite lucky with pattern swap this year um it's been really competitive <laughs> uh people have had patterns put up and they've been snapped up in minutes um i was really lucky on the first day of the pattern swap i posted up the patterns that i was swapping so i put up something like 11 or 12 patterns and i think seven or eight of them got taken um and I just happen to be kind of on Instagram as loads of people put things up. Otherwise, there is no way I would have got anything else. All of the other days I've looked at things, there have been patterns I would have loved that have kind of been snapped up. But um, I got quite lucky. Now, not all of these are directly from the pattern swap. Um, I have a friend who uh, who sews who offered me um, some of her patterns that she wasn't using um sort of just before pattern swap and they arrived with all of my pattern swap patterns so I thought I'd include them um, and I will say a big thank you to everybody who sent me a pattern and I will link them all below to say thank you so starting off the new look new look obviously can't read today um the butterick 6318 now this is just such a pretty pattern I think it is really like it's an Instagram Look, look, an Instagrammable pattern um, cover, isn't it? It's just very, very 50s. Um, it's one of their retro, it's actually a 61 pattern, sorry, 1961 pattern. Um, and it came free in the Love Sewing magazine a little while ago, but before I really was into sewing. Um, and I just thought it'd be really nice. So it's, uh, I'll show you the line drawing in case you've never seen this before. Um, but it's a grown on sleeve, like a dolman sleeve boat neck um with darts at the waist but not at the bust and then a back zipper and really big giant ties now i was super excited to get this because i've really wanted to give it a go i have obviously if you've watched my vlogs you know i have the so many dresses so little time book which i like the fitted um bodice and the flared skirt but i thought it'd be quite cool to try one that was grown on sleeves and see how it fitted so as soon as I got this, I traced it out and then I started making it uh, a bit of a twirl. Um, and I just was going to make the bodice to start with. This is when a duvet I tried cover. it on, I thought it was fitting really well. So I went with it and I, I put on Instagram, like, do you think I should add this bright teal skirt? And most people said yes. So I went with it and I sewed it all up and I was super excited. But it didn't fit. And I was really gutted because... Um, you know, when I tried the bodice on, I thought it fit quite well, but the zip just didn't go. <laughs> so um, I'm not really sure what happened there. And I'm going to unpick it and take um, the back darts out a little bit just to try and make it fit because I really want to try it. Um, there are some beautiful versions of this out there. And I did a little bit of research when I was um, getting ready to make it and some people said that there was loads of ease and then a couple of people said there was like no ease at all so um i sewed a size 20 let's just check my pattern pieces yeah i sewed a size 20 which is supposed to be a waist 34 um, and I'm wondering if maybe there's lots of ease in the smaller sizes, but less ease in the larger sizes. Uh, but I do think that the 22 is going to be too big because it was too small, but only a little bit. Um, and it was still quite big in the top. So I think I need to still, yeah, sort out 
the, the narrow shoulder issue again. Um, so yeah, I'm going to give that another go. Um, I'm hoping to get it done during the pattern swap time um, because it's quite a simple sew, but we shall see on that one. So that's number one. Don't worry, I'm not going to talk as long about all of these as that. I promise. <laughs> um, the next one I picked up was this Thread Count Patterns um, 5-in-1 Stylish Tops. And I don't really have a nice top you know, blouse pattern that I've had much success with. Really nice. And I really liked the scallop detail. I thought that was quite cool. Um, I have already given this a go and I did make the narrow shoulder adjustment and it was okay. I need to do a bit of work on it still. Um, but it was all right. And I haven't, have, haven't done the scallop edge yet, but I'm going to. And I'll insert a picture of um, the top I made with the gorgeous light bulb African wax which I absolutely love so that makes up for some slight fitting issues and then I haven't sewn any of the others yet so I will show you um, what I've got and sort of tell you my plans so the Butterick 6412 which is this lovely um, princess seamed sweetheart neckline um, with these buttons sort of asymmetric buttons down the side of the bodice isn't that so pretty it's a it's a pattern by Gertie pattern and it is also one that was free in love sewing magazine and it's so pretty and I think this will be shown off the best in a plain or a solid color fabric so I would like to sew this in the same bright teal cotton that I sewed the skirt of this because I just think that will be really pretty um, and I think I have enough this is just 100% cotton fabric from Fabricland um, I love the colour of it and then I got this shirt pattern it's just a standard shirt pattern I've tried the so many dresses shirt uh, bodice and not had much success which I'm annoyed at because I've got the fit of the dress quite quite good um but yeah this comes with the granddad collar and the normal collar stand collar um as well and i wanted to give this a go and i found it quite unusual to find shirt um patterns in my size that i like um but this one's just quite simple so um hopefully we'll have a bit of success very loose fitting <laughs> jumpsuit um the b6312 which was another freebie in love sewing magazine as was the last one, which I don't think I actually said was M7575. McCall's M7575. Um, but yeah, this jumpsuit, very like, like loose fitting. Um, I've had a bit of a jumpsuit revelation <laughs> with the Zadie and the um, Sirocco and the Honeycomb that I hacked um, into a jumpsuit. And I wanted to give another one a go. Um, and I thought that this would also be a really good one for potentially just hacking into a top. I know it's a really simple one, but um, quite like that. And I've seen some really nice versions of that. So um, then there's another Love Sewing freebie, uh, the Butterick B5898. Um, now, I've struggled to find a good wrap dress pattern. Um, the wrap dress version in so many dresses has not worked for me. Um, I've tried I've tried some fitting um, things maybe it's time to go back to it because I haven't actually fiddled around with it probably since January and bear in mind my last video was about how much my sewing has improved since January to now maybe I should give it another go and see um, if I can have any more luck but I was quite excited to see this come up um, particularly in a plus size um, pattern size yeah um <laughs> to give this a go because yeah, the only challenge with a uh, full wrap dress is that it requires a lot of fabric. So I'm going to give this a go in this, I think, which is sort of like a cherry flower print um, that I got in a three metre cut from the Goldhawk Road. Um, but I obviously also have the option of plenty of African wax fabrics that I could try this in. Um, but I would really love your recommendations for woven wrap and woven mock wrap dresses because i really struggle and i love them and they're so useful for work and i love the jersey ones i make but it would be good to get a woven pattern down um we're on to the last few <laughs> i 
I promise. And then a few simple sews. So I got this Juliet tie back blouse, um, which has the kind of big wide grown on sleeves um, and then ties, which is pretty basic really. Um, but if I can get that right with the neckline, um, I think that would look really nice like with jeans or a nice smart pencil skirt. So um, quite excited to give that a go. Quite like the polka dot version <laughs> on the front. So um, yeah, that might be one for that it's a very hungry uh, fabric hungry one though it's uh it says it requires 1.72 meters whether your fabric is 45 inches wide or 60 inches wide um for the largest size which i mean to be fair i might not make the largest size but still and um, then there's the annika tunic which is a bit like an apron <laughs> but i really liked the big pleat in the front and I thought it would be really cool in denim. Uh, like, how cool would that be in denim as, like, a pinafore? Because um, I don't wear a lot of, like, dungaree-style dresses, but I feel like this sort of um, fits the bill. And it says it's inspired by the clean lines of Nordic design. There you go. So I'll be giving that one a go. Um, I get, like, not a lot of these patterns are particularly complicated, so even though I really should have started sewing some more than I have already, I feel like I'm doing okay. Um... Then there's this one which uh, came from my friend uh, along with some of the others um, which is the thread count 4-in-1 sort of tunic style top and this really reminded me of the Cali shirt dress um, but I have noticed that it actually only comes size 6 to 14 and let's have a look at what it says finished garment measurements probably not going to be big enough for me so keyhole blouse again i said before i've been on the hunt for some simple uh top patterns i don't really like the pleated front but i think um the plain version will be quite a handy um addition to my work wardrobe and then also the simple so jackie o jacket which is just a very simple um jacket with just yeah, I have been quite lucky. Like I said, not all of these came from the pattern swap. <laughs> I don't want people to come back and say, you stole all the patterns. And I did swap a fair amount um, back as well. I think I sent about the same number that I received. So, But I'm really excited to have all of these in my, in my pattern stash now. And um, what ones do you think I should sew first? And what have you picked up from the pattern swap? And what have you sewn already? I've been following the hashtag on Instagram and I've really loved it watching kind of seeing people's makes and um the first makes of the patterns that i sent out to people have, have been popping up on instagram which is really great to see um hopefully i can film another video a couple of weeks down the line where i've made a couple more of these and i can show you um because hopefully that will be fun <laughs> fingers crossed um anyway i will speak to you next time thanks for watching please subscribe if you haven't already and would like to continue seeing my videos. Thanks very much, guys. Bye.